Hello, and thank you for taking a study break to do some yoga with me. I've got Molly over here by my side. If you hear her walking around on the hardwood floor, it's not a mouse, it's a Molly dog. Anyways, you're gonna need a chair and um, some space to stand and move. It doesn't have to be a lot of space, but you don't need a yoga mat for this practice. Let's get started, seated. So today we're going to imagine that we're going skydiving. And when you go skydiving, maybe you're a little bit nervous and you're looking to conquer your fears. So well, let's pretend that we're already on the airplane where we've already shot off and we're ready to go. You've got your parachute on your back and we're gonna jump out of the plane soon and maybe you're nerves are uh, starting to build up a little bit. So in yoga, what we do to settle our nerves is we start to pay attention to our breath so that we can slow our breathing rate, the number of times that we breathe each minute, and slow our heart rate, the amount of um, times that our heart is beating. So Go ahead and come to the edge of your seat so that you can feel your feet firmly on the floor. You don't want to have your feet dangling off the chair. When you're about to jump out of the plane, you want to feel strong and grounded. So plant your hands on your thighs, feel your body, close your eyes, sit up tall, strong back. Take a deep inhale through your nose, grow a little bit taller. Exhale through your mouth. Let your breath go. Inhale through your nose one more time. Maybe your shoulders shrug up towards your ears. Exhale all the air out of your mouth. Shoulders fall away from your ears one more time. Inhale. Roll your shoulders up. Exhale out of your mouth. Take a few more deep breaths. Fill up your belly, fill up your lungs. Notice that your breath is much warmer and calmer. Once you strengthen your breath and you deepen your breath, you can get more control over your body and get rid, get rid of the nerves and the fear that you're holding. Take a few more breaths with your eyes closed. You can flutter your eyes open and now pretend like you have your parachute on your back. You can even bring your hands to the handles in front. And I don't know about you, but if I ever jump out of a plane, I'm going to be really nervous. <laughs> so let's make sure that this thing is on right. We'll make sure it's nice and tight and fits us just right. So go ahead and take a deep inhale, fill up the space of your parachute of your backpack. However, you're, you can even put a backpack on and pretend like you're fastening it to your body. Take a deep inhale, expand your rib cage to the front, back and sides, fill up that space. Exhale, let it out. Take one more deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Let's do a couple chair stretches just before we stand up. Bring your right hand to your hip, your left arm overhead and stretch over to the right side. Getting ready to jump out of the plane. Gotta be nice and limber. 
can come back up, bringing your left hand <coughs> to your left waist. Hi, Molly. Bring your right arm up and over, stretch the right side of your body. Take a deep breath here. And come back up. And we'll come to standing. In yoga, we can move the chair to the side for now. In yoga, we call this position star pose, but we're going to call it um, a Superman pose or your skydiving pose. So when you jump out of a plane, you don't want your arms and your legs to be flailing around, around like spaghetti. You want your arms and your legs to be straight out and strong so that that wind can catch you and your parachute, however far out it reaches, catches the air so that it can support you and you can float for longer. So extend your arms out to the side, spread your fingertips. Your feet are wider than hips distance apart. Spread your toes. Hug your kneecaps up. You can feel that your muscles and your legs engage. Engage your biceps. Engage your forearms. Stand really strong. And look up at the sky. Take a few breaths. Breathing that sweet, fresh air above the clouds. Maybe you take a couple of neck stretches here. You can bend your chin down towards your chest. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Drop your head back. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Bring your chin back down. Take a couple more circles with your head. Pretend like you're flying and you're looking around at the landscape below you. Spin your head in the opposite direction. Your arms and your legs are still really strong. Activate those muscles. Keep your parachute from flapping in the wind. Inhale your head back up and bring your arms and your legs together in towards your body. Now the next pose that we're gonna do is called warrior three or airplane. So to come into airplane, we'll practice our forward bend first. So your feet are about hips distance apart. Bring your hands to your hips or out to your sides like you have wings. Inhale, grow really tall through the top of your head. Strong legs start to hinge at your hips, keeping a flat back, looking down at the ground. You're halfway bent over. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades together. Arms are strong, back is strong. Take a few breaths here. This is kind of like they opened the plane door and you're looking out towards the ground, wondering when you're going to jump. Inhale to come straight back up. Shift your weight onto your right foot. You can start to hover your toes off the ground. We'll go into warrior three on the right side, coming into our airplane, ready to fly, ready to die. You can bring your arms over your head or keep your wings out to the side as you kick your left leg back and start to hover forward. Keep your right leg really, really, really strong. It's holding you up. Squeeze your shoulder blades on your back, looking out and forward. You're flying. And we're getting close to the ground now. So when we land, we don't want to land in a face in a face plant. So you can start to hug your knees into your belly. We're getting closer to the ground, so we want to sit back. Pretend like you can hang on to your parachute. You're sitting back, sitting back, sitting back. You're gonna land on your feet. And we've landed. You can stand up. Maybe give yourself a pat on the back for a clean landing and a safe flight. We'll do that on the other side. So shift your weight over to your left leg this time. Start to peel your right foot off the ground. Make sure you have uh, a strong standing leg so your knee is not bent, it's straight. Hug your kneecap up. Really activate the muscles in your left leg. Arms are out to the side 
or straight overhead. You can try it a different way this time. Start to kick your right heel back, leaning forward, hinging at the hips, just like we did before. Just this time we have one leg up. Take really deep breaths here. Maybe you let a big sigh out of your mouth, like you're screaming, you're so excited, you're flying. And we're coming close to the ground again. So start to hug and grab onto your parachute, bending your knee into your belly. Plant your right foot down, both feet are grounded. You're coming down to the ground. Sit your hips back, your heels are heavy, and you've landed. Straighten your knees, straighten your arms up overhead. You did it, good job, great steady break.